This is the intersection of Governor Winthrop Boulevard and Water Street in New London, a location considered by many in the paranormal community to be haunted. This is a notorious intersection where the traffic flow coming out of New London on Water Street is congested like a beef lover's heart. But perpendicularly speaking, the ferry traffic on Governor Winthrop is 99% of the time non-existent. Yet the red light halting traffic on Water Street seems to last for years, no matter what time of day. It was here that a young man literally died waiting for the signal to change. There was no food or water in his car. They say his spirit moans, waiting for a green light that will never come. Why indeed is this red light literally 17 minutes long when there's no cross traffic to warrant such an interruption? A responsible journalist would find out, but instead I'd rather just show you some of the ways I've come up with to make good use of the time while I'm at the red light. You ever been stuck at this light before? Hell yeah, it's nuts. I hate it. You want to uh, come over and let me play guitar for you? Absolutely. Cool. People smile and tell me I'm the lucky one. We've just begun. Or the world's longest one-man fire drill. Wow, nice little seven mile run, and I'm just in time, it's green. There was this one time I thought, this light's so long, I could grow a Solzhenitsyn beard. I started to think I was Solzhenitsyn. I wrote August 1914, Cancer Ward and the First Circle. It was just starting one day of the life of Ivan Denisovich when I got the green light and had to roar off. So maybe this excruciating, stupidly long light is actually a good thing. I see now that a lot can be accomplished if you think of it in the proper context. Hey, maybe we could get the city in New London to make it last two or three minutes longer.